oh, and yeah. we and we have a dog in the back. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so just as long as you, then you know you can't work or study or right. live in Canada until this application has been either yes. approved or denied. Yeah, as long as yep. this trip is just a vacation, mm -hmm. then yeah, no problems. Okay. Perfect. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. here at Riverside Park in Kamloops, British Columbia. It is absolutely beautiful. This is a really neat park. This was a good find. It is on the river. Hey! It is... You can't see me! Hold on. It is uh, really pretty and it has a splash pad. It has a beach. It has parks for the kids to play at. It has lawn bowling. Um, Rose gardens, friendship gardens, very cool. We're gonna check it out. It's just graffiti. People write on the walls with paint. With baby geese. It's our second day here in Canada and we're headed to Campers Haven RV Park. Uh, it's near Glacier National Park. So we'll probably get some video about hiking around that area and then go exploring. So it should be a good day for that. And today the weather looks good, so hopefully the rain... It's hot. Uh, it's hot, but hopefully the rain uh, doesn't uh, affect us. Yeah, hopefully we will stay off. Campers Haven RV Park. Campers Haven RV Park outside of Glacier National Forest. We have a plan. It is a rudimentary plan. I can print a map. So I drew a map that had just the hikes we want to do today on there. So we're going to start off by going to Rogers Discovery Center. We were hoping to be out the door by we were hoping to be at the Discovery Center at 8 when they opened. It is 8.30 now, so we are on camping time. It's just, it just takes a lot out to get out the door when you're driving, driven all day, and it's just... Turn tired. left for Big Bend well, Highway, and then turn the left onto Big Bend Highway. And we have to load up the boys, and we have to load up Lacey. And so it's a whole Apparently thing. at a Discovery Center where they have a bunch of uh, trail maps and activities, a little museum. And this is the view from the parking lot. Mm -hmm. 
Here, we can we aim from Nicholas. Here, so DJ, draw a line from chocolate covered raisins to deer. I got this one. Good. So this I is our first hike, Bear Creek Falls. It's about a mile and a half out and back. And uh, we'll see some cool sights. Get that thing away. Okay, okay. Look at the mist coming off. That's mist coming off of the waterfall because it is so powerful. Sidestep if you need to. Sidestep if you need to. <laughs> so our second hike today is a uh, Loop Brook Trestles. Uh, it's about a 45 minute hike. So let's go. background that place where you see the snow there that's Avalanche Mountain and the uh, trestles were there where the train tracks uh, went through in the 1800s. So here we are at Rock Garden, and we are literally climbing up and up and up. I mean, somewhere at the bottom with Lacey. Lacey can't do this. Yeah. Wait, oh, Lacey, I'm gonna do a beetle. 
Go. Keep going, guys. Hey, check out this yeah. wood. It's white. Yeah, keep going. Oh, man, this is amazing. arrived at our campground we hiked four trails we went to the discovery center we are kind of beat but more importantly Lacey can do no more so we are back here we're gonna regroup and then decide if later this afternoon we want to go to the park in Donald and see the river there we'll see there's a lot of daylight left it's only three o'clock and it doesn't get dark till like 10 so and of all the trails we did, Bear Creek Falls was hands down the best one. And we'll show you a video of that uh, following. It'll be in this episode. Well, you would have probably already seen it. But yeah, the waterfall was awesome. Definitely worth it. That would be our, all of us I think said that was our number one, except for DJ who liked the rock one. He liked climbing on the rocks. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and uh, pro tip, if you go to, if you take your kids to the Discovery Centers in the National Parks, and they complete some activities there. They get a uh, dog tag necklace with the name of the national park on it, and they can do that at all the parks and collect them, kind of like in the US, where they do the Junior Ranger program. It's almost identical to that, except it's a dog tag necklace thing instead of um, patches. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you would like to subscribe or like us, please do it below the screen. Thank you.